both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Blues will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Into the offensive end now. Slick feed. And that goes off the player in front. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Minnesota's caught the puck against the boards. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Champion's is good at taking possession from puck drops, guys. His quick draw zone ability means he can win those matchups. Hart's known around the league for being solid between the pipes. He'll look to live up to that reputation. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. Denies him again! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Jerseys, hats, keychains, you name it. Smartphone cases, they got you covered at the team store. Check them out online or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Turn the side with the glove. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Thomas wins possession in the defensive zone. The Blues will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Shifley. Takes a shot. Scores! Well, was that quick enough for you? Yeah, it was quick. You want to dictate pace, especially when the puck drops. You put one in early. That's the best way to get it done. He is such a gifted playmaker. He's got eyes in the back of his head. And it's not just about the pass he makes, but it is so accurate, tape to tape, that it makes it easier for the shooter to execute. St. Louis has a quick 1-0 lead here in this one, and the home fans are all into it. And they should love it, James, because it's an entertaining brand of hockey. When you're playing fast with a ton of pace, the fans love it. And when you put the puck in the net, it's even better. Minnesota's got the puck. And now he passes up to Silverberg. The Blues get a hold of it. Oh, he rocked him on the play! James, the body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Minnesota's trailing in this one here despite having more chances offensively so far. Koibu's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Made that stop. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. And the puck's booted away. Minnesota's crossed the line and on the attack. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Oh, James, he's still down after that huge hit. He's really struggling and laboring, and you just gotta hope that he's okay. Let's have another look at that hit there, James. I mean, he looks shaken up. Bufflin's really laboring as he leaves the game, James. He's going to make his way down the tunnel with some assistance from the medical staff here because he cannot put any weight on that one leg. Big part of this team, and obviously they are going to have to do without him for the next indefinite period until we get a medical update here. The Blues move it in. Sends it ahead to Stahl. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Torpchenko. St. Louis has been so good shutting down the middle of the ice. They're anticipating the passes and they're closing quickly. And because of that, they're turning pucks over and intercepting them as well. Oh, spectacular save right there! Wow! Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Oh, CP, you know what he wanted there. Just came up a little wide. Well, JC certainly did. He pulled it into his body, and as he corrals it, he lets it rip. But hockey's a game of inches, and that one just misses. And we play on. Still a lot. Blues lead it 1-0. Right oh, up the right. He's got a step. Scores! Quick as a hiccup. It's in the back of the net. Well, you said it quick, James, and he is lightning fast. He separates himself 
from the pack every single time and generates these opportunities. He gets in front of the pack with a flash, James. He winds up on a breakaway. There's pressure coming in behind, but the wherewithal to know where they are and how much time he has, that's the key here. So he can pull off his move and put it in the back of the net. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Hooked away in the neutral zone. Minnesota's gonna hold it along the wall. Turns it away. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Michael. Puts it up there. Big time blocker stopped by Hart. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Minnesota's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Came up with the save on that play. Hart's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Oh, misses the net, and that, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance, and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to get one by the Tendi. Feeds it on over to Kane. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Great defensive effort with the stick. Whoa. Moves it over to Pareko. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. And that shot dies in traffic. Rise up, lets it go. Sacrifices the body. They dump it in and will change personnel here. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Pass in front. He scores! What a goal! I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James. As the puck's below the goal line, you can see him moving to make himself available. And they're right when the time is right. That distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick. He lets it go for the tally. The Blues take the lead after that last goal. And Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you, uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Well, uh, you got to continue to push attack. There's way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. Here in the back half of this period, the Blues are looking to build on this one goal lead. Here's a short pass to Prosser. Great shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Quick pass to Spurgeon. Takes it to the front and makes the save. Shen's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Uses the force on that hit. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Musiko Yokiharu. Picked up along the boards by Krug. And he takes the pass. And he takes the feed. Crisps opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Bufflin's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. In the final moments of this period, St. Louis is in the driver's seat. They lead it 2-1 in what has been a very spirited affair. Michaels won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Picking up some steam at center ice. Picked off by Ayafalo. As an athlete, you always want to try and contribute and get things going for your team. And especially when you're trailing, you want to ignite a spark. Unfortunately, though, he died a little too much there and it gets taken away. After that huge hit, he is just... Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful... 
powerful save. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this prep was going, and he was ready for it. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. He rules in the game of hockey. One of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He is in and he takes a huge hit. Manfalo's left the bench and is heading down the tunnel and took quite a hit there. And there's head contact. You know that's not good. You have to follow all protocols to make sure that he's okay. You know, and, and the good thing is, is those protocols are in place now, Cheryl, compared to what we saw years back. Moves it to the middle. Play is thrown dead with the offside. Really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Minnesota's down, but not out. They've had chances. They just haven't capitalized. Stalls won the draw here in the neutral zone. Great pass from off the right side. Here's a chance. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. His reflexes on display tonight. Slides it up to Shifley. Tries to get the puck over to Bushnevich. Oh, my! You can feel that from here! Well, that has to hurt. And he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Big time collision, and look at that, he landed right on his own bench. Well, you know that the one giving the hit likes this, to send a message, send you right over the board into the laps of your teammates. It's embarrassing either way, no question, that you got off your feet and you wound up on your bench. Fires it, denies him, he got all of it. to be played in this period. The Blues are clinging to a 2-1 lead. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Odd man rush. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Penalty coming up. Quick whistle stops the play. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Guys, we know this penalty kill unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league, but they've got a chance here, a real great opportunity to turn things around, so let's see what can happen. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And it's a quick pass to Torpchenko. The Wild have the puck in the neutral zone. Minnesota's on the attack. Good stop by Hart. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Stall side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Big hit, and that frees up 
possession. Thomas is ready for the face-off as we are about to resume this power play. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. That's on the stick. Great poke check on the reach. Handles the puck at the point. And that goes off the glove, and it stays out. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Angles it over to Burns. And now he moves it to Cullen. Moves it quickly over to Spurgeon. Not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Minnesota's in transition. Directs it on over to Emra. The Blues have it from their own end. Handles the pass. Fires it on net. How did he stop that one? Goaltenders have to be able to read where the puck is going to, and he reads it perfectly as he has a strong push cross post and makes the save. Shen's looking to win this draw, this man advantage here. The Blues win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Chris is going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Niskanen's job in the D zone is to box out his opponent and keep the front of the net clear, guys. That helps his netminder from getting screened, and we call that his bouncer zone ability. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And his teammate comes up with it. Good stand-up hit on the play. Solid shorthanded performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. Really like that power play sequence, James. The score! And that's back to back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Extends the lead to two as they make their way back to center ice. Is there a concern of complacency now when you've got that two-goal lead? Well, I think the big thing is you've got a comfortable lead, but you can't get comfortable, if you know what I'm saying, James. Yep. You've got to continue to attack. You can't sit back. You've got to continue to push and do the things that got you the lead in the first place. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Loses his balance on the play. Michael's got it along the wing. Oh, such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about complete and finding a way to get to the puck. St. Louis has the puck. Directed over to Pareko. And now he moves it quickly to Neighbors. The Wild have possession along the boards. Champion's going to have to keep his head up throughout this game. No one liked that play earlier that injured their player. The crowd is frustrated, including the bench. He'll have to be aware when that puck's on his stick. Great reach with the stick by Niskanen. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Phillips setting up against the wall. Puck picked up by Niskanen. Now a quick pass to Silverberg. And he slides it quickly to Niskanen. Takes the pass. Shot! And they score! just a fantastic play. I mean, he's known for having great hands, James, but he manipulates his opponent. He opens up a lane and makes that beautiful pass, which leads to the goal. The Wild have put themselves right back into this one after that goal. Well, good teams have a way of burying the bad play and looking ahead, and they've done just that, getting themselves back in this game. Quick feed to Thomas. Comes up with a stop. There's a firm collision. Slides the puck to Kobe. Here's a short pass to Kane. 
Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. More than half the frame has been played here. Minnesota's trailing by one. Stalls, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. Shot, just wide. Loose puck and they're off to the races. The Blues gain control of the puck. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Stalls taking it from his own end. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. A little banging and crashing now. Moves the puck. Makes the save. The Blues gain possession. And he slides it quickly to Shen. Takes that pass back to the point. Denies him on the play. Headman pass. Quick pass to Gostaspair. Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. And that was just another reminder that these two teams just simply hate each other, Cheryl. Yeah, they don't like one another, James. And it's all about finding out who has the upper hand. And that's the reason why they just went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Woo! The road team's bench is banging their sticks, standing up as they cheer on their player. And that tilt went their way. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that Donnybrook. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. Denies him on the slapper. Pareko's stick explodes and he grabs another one from the bench and gets back into play right away. Moves it to Jones. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Too many bodies in the way. Oh, what a stop as he uses his power to swat it away. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Broken up by Burns. Moves it quickly over to Michael. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Tees him up. Brings aside the slap shot. Wow. Moves it to the middle. He scores. What a play. Play showcasing a sweet set of mitts to be able to make this type of play to dangle his way to the net here, James. But how about the movement of the puck? His eyes are up, he's scanning, and he knows that his teammate is wide open. He delivers a gift for the goal. The Wild have changed the complexion of this game after that goal we are tied. You can break the game down into different quadrants and look at it from different angles, but you certainly knew that this group wanted to be tied. This is a victory for them heading into the third. Minnesota's got the puck here in the open ice. Oh, just a textbook hit. Grabbed along the boards by Thomas. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. They've got numbers. The Blues take over on possession. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Koivu. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Puck scooped up by Niskanen. Pass it up ahead. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Spurgeon. Here's a short pass to Shen. Scooped up along the wall by Neighbors. All alone! Scores! That's how you finish! This entire play is fantastic, James. Speed, reading the play, and he recognizes he's got a ton of time, freezes the tender, and buries it home. 
Well, he's showing a lot of patience on this breakaway. He knows where everyone is and the pressure that's coming in behind. Knowing the correct amount of time, not panicking, and letting his instincts do the work. Minnesota's gone up by one here late in period number two. Now to see if they can build on this when they get to the third. Well, they'll want to pounce right off this face-off, James. They've had a ton of urgency in the flat last few shifts, and they found a way to get the go-ahead goal here. They're going to need to really work hard to hold the lead because you know that their opponent, they're going to have a bit of urgency here. Here's a chance off target. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. They're coming on that rush. Passes it over. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast. So don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. Hey, fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our side Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Minnesota's ahead in this high-scoring affair, but it is action-packed. One team scores, and the other team says, yeah, no, it's my turn now. I mean, the counterattack has been unbelievable. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. And that's deflected off someone in front. Michaels got the puck. And it's a quick pass to Enron. And that's a great heads up play by Shifley. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. And there's the whistle icing the call. Minnesota's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. The frozen miss gets dropped and we are back underway here. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Michael's got it in the offensive zone. And the save. Hart's got the puck, and he's going to hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Koivu's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Takes the lead at the point. Misses wide. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Carries the puck up through center. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Stop that one. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Huge stop by Hart. Oh, there's one more. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And now he moves it quickly to Korianov. Here's a pass down low. St. Louis will play the puck behind the net. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Another hit. He will feel this one by the end of the night. Oh, a tough night for him. He's going to have to keep his head up and move that puck quickly if he doesn't want to get banged again. Granlin's so effective in the O-zone. I mean, he knows how to put the puck to the net. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Trunches him into the boards. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivering and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Oh, answers back with the stop on the one-timer. Minnesota's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. And that's easily turned aside. Butte, he might have a stop here. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deep. He score! Four straight goals there, rolling. Talk about confidence, hey, James. 
I mean, their opponent does not have an answer. They look absolutely stunned. I mean, they are like a freight train just pounding down on them. No surprise there that another one goes in for him. I mean, he's the team's leading goal scorer, and everyone relies on him to really set the tone and put it in the net, a reason why they're successful. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Minnesota's really controlled. Shifley's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Blues come up with the defensive zone draw. Dumps it in. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. Up tonight, who had the better performance? Champions played hard, guys, and he's even manufactured some offense in this game. I'm giving him my vote for this matchup tonight. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Quick pass to Granlin, and that's a smart heads up play by Spurgeon. St. Louis has it against the half wall, takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Stones him on the play, takes the puck at the point. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Moves it to Pominville. Pushes it across to Bolduc. Oh, he cracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Just wide. Moves it quickly over to Champion. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Granlund's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Neighbors, and he rings the post! Pominville's gotta be so frustrated. 
frustrated, James. He's hit the bar a number of times tonight. He really thinks it's gonna go in. And here's the medal. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. The Leafs are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Michaels won the draw there on the attack. Quick feed to champion. tonight, a lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck. Yeah, you can see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. what a lot of people came to see tonight, Cheryl. There's no love lost between these two teams. Every time they set foot on the ice, you know it's a heated battle. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent in here. Play set to resume here finally after a spirited scrap just moments ago. The Blues win it. Here's a short pass for Yoki Haru. All alone! Oh, he stopped! Oh, that would have been huge! Well, it would have been late in the third period here, James. You know you're in a tight game. You don't get these opportunities often on the breakaway. He cannot believe he missed. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. We got burgers! Koivu's won a big draw on their own end. Moves the puck across to Gostaspare. Minnesota's got him along the wall. And stops that big bomb. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Phillips quick on the draw. Quick pass for Yuki Haru. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Takes the feed. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. And some good footwork to kick it away. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Solid hit on that play. The Blues really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie in the extra attackers out. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Great
after that goal. And hey, who's going to change momentum now? And now it's grabbed by Bruce. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Moves it to Bushnevich. Great hit on the play. St. Louis will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. The sense of urgency has really set in. They pulled the goalie, the extra attackers out. Slides the puck over. Comes up with the stop. He got all of that hit on the play. There's another consecutive save. What a great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Well, here was a game that went back and forth. And you know, when you're winning, you find ways to win these types of games. But when you're losing, the streak continues here, Pounder. Yeah, it really does. And for the coaching staff, they're going to go into the room and they're going to try and draw some positives from it. But I'm telling you, the team doesn't want to hear it because at the end of the day, it's still a loss. Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.